Hey guys, on today's gear check, we're checking out my Kiesel Dello 6 string, the Black Pearl. So, for my Kiesel Dello 6, I actually got this during the Delos run this summer. Uh, greatest thing that I decided to do because this guitar is immaculate. It's so beautiful, so beautiful. So let's just dig deep into it right real quick, shall we? The top wood that I picked is a 7A Poplar Burl. I did choose the raw tone finish so you can feel that it's very porous. Because I picked the raw tone finish, you can actually feel the grain on the back of the wood. The body is actually swamp ash. I'm pretty sure that's they, they all came standard with swamp ash. Uh, for the pickups, I did choose uh, humbucker humbucker. I don't like the single pickup in the middle because that's exactly where my hand tends to go and where my picking action is. Uh, I picked lithiums, they sound amazing, comes with the five-way switch, and the single coil features are amazing. They, they really sound unique, and there's a lot of variety with it when it comes to these pickups. I love them. I did pick the Black Pearl pickguard. I'm pretty sure it was a limited edition just for the Delos run. I'm pretty sure that you can't actually pick that feature anymore. I could be wrong, but as far as I remember, uh, it was just for that run, and I'm glad I got one. I did not name this guitar the Black Pearl due to the Black Pearl pickguard. I actually had the name way before I actually had the build idea. I wanted to name a guitar the Black Pearl because I wanted to look I have a guitar that kind of had like a burned kind of finish to it. Uh, but this spotty, the spottiness of the Poplar Pearl just works so much better. And I think she's definitely aptly named. Uh, I, uh, I did pick the Kiesel Trem, the Kiesel Hipshot Trem uh, thing goes low and high and has a beautiful flutter. Uh, I've had Floyd Rose trems in my guitars before, just in uh, just in one I believe, actually no, two. Um, I had it in an Ibanez RG that was my main guitar b before and it was just a lot of upkeep, uh, especially when it came to changing strings. It was a very big hassle, it was a very big hassle and switching to this is just like restringing a, new, uh, a, a basic guitar. I did pick gold pickup poles. I think it just blends very well with the guitar and as a whole, like just as a whole, um, we're gonna get into the fingerboard and, and why I picked the gold even more. Uh, so for the fingerboard, I did opt for the uh, roasted maple fingerboard. Um, it, I've never had one before and when I first got this guitar, I realized I should always pick this from now on. Either I mean, I've always been an ebony fingerboard player and they're very nice, but this was seamless. It's not its not a hard transition from the two. I've never been a maple fingerboard player, uh, like just basic maple, uh, uh, roasted maple. I've, I've never been uh, partial to them. I've always used ebony. You know, it's just always felt better to me, ebony and, and rosewood. But the roasted maple is very seamless. It's very fast. Uh, it's its not abrupt whatsoever, like I've, like I've had some guitars be. I got, and I did pick the black acrylic um, inlays, dot inlays. Uh, I'm a big dot inlay player off of the fingerboard more than I am the side dots. So people that don't play with dots on their fingerboard, uh, hey, I applaud you because I can't follow whatsoever. Um, the frets themselves are actually Evo Gold, EVO Gold. Uh, that's where the gold p uh, pickup poles came in. I wanted it to flow very well. Because it, it's it the color alone, it's very caramel. I, I'm not sure if you can tell in the light, but the the roasted maple actually transitions depending on how bright and how dark it is. Um, sometimes it looks really brown, and then the others it looks like a very very light color, like almost like the back of, of the guitar. The neck itself again is actually roasted maple as well. Very sleek, very fast. It's not abrupt for my thumb whatsoever when I'm when I'm shooting from one one aspect of the neck down to the very bottom. There's actually a lot of access too with this lower horn. A lot of regular vintage strats. Sometimes the the horn will actually be in your way when you're doing crazy stretches. But as you can see, like there's a good gap in between my hand and this lower horn here, and. It's, it's not abrupt for me or abrasive whatsoever. Uh, it's very, very pleasant 
It is a 25 and a half inch scale, uh, but it is 24 fret. Uh, lots of access, more notes, more variations to do. I'm, I'm very excited and this has definitely become my main guitar. The headstock that I chose actually is the GT reverse headstock. Um, I wanted to keep it very classy when it came to this build and I think with this headstock it flows so much better. I definitely think it gave it a bit of a modern look but it's still very vintage especially with the Strat body. That's why I love the Delos. It looks modern but it's still it's just a good take on, on a classic style. Uh, it does come with the Kiesel locking system, the Kiesel locking tuners. With the trend that, that, that they have, it works so well. I've wailed on this thing and sometimes I'll come back and it's still in tune. Most of the time it, it's still in tune. I, I Honestly, I just pick it up and go. Like Most of the time I, I don't even worry about tuning it because it still sounds very good with the way that it is. I did pick uh, black hardware, black and gold, basically it was the theme for this entire build, black and gold, uh, and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Thank you guys for clicking the video. I hope you guys love how beautiful the Black Pearl is. She is so much fun. Check us out on stage, Cinema 23. Uh, hopefully I'll have my solo CD out sometime next year, and then she'll be coming out as well on some shows for that too. Thank you guys. Like you, you can actually feel it. It's uh, the, uh. anyways. So I did pick gold pickup poles. Did pick uh, pick gold pick. I did pick gold pickup poles. Gold pickup poles. Yeah.